Derita, derita, derita. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le mueva. Las paragus. Hey guys, what's up? This is Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. So, in the video today, I want to discuss what are must-haves for didactic gear. So, what do I recommend for your didactic gear of PA school? This is something I wish I would have known before starting PA school, although I have to say that the prior PA students that were in the program before I started were very, very helpful. But hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. For those of you who are just got started into PA school, congratulations. And for those of you who are interested in applying to PA school or, or are in PA school, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. So what do I recommend for PA school, specifically didactic gear? So for didactic gear, of course you've probably heard didactic gear is probably one of the hardest years of your PA program. I'm currently in my second year of my clinical rotation, so I can definitely say that didactic year is a lot harder than your clinical year. And that's because of the amount of information that you are receiving, the amount of classes you're taking, and the amount of exams that you are having. Like I said, I had a minimum of probably one exam, if not two exams every week. There would be weeks where I had six, eight exams, and during finals it was just horrible because I would have 12 exams to eight, eight to 12 exams weekly, and it was just terrible. So as you can see, you're having a lot of good exams in comparison to your clinical year where you only have two exams every five weeks. So that's completely a difference. So that's why it's really important that you have good time management skills during your didactic year, and that you have good studying resources also. I am a huge fan of podcasts, and I really recommend podcasts. Now, podcasts are not for everyone. Um, this brings another point, is that you want to know what type of learner you are, whether you're visual, whether you're auditory, um, whether you like to read, etc. You want to know what is the best tool for you. So for example, for myself, I'm a visual person and an auditory person. I had some classmates that were purely auditory. They can sit in class and just listen to the professor talk and they were good. After that, they would take the exams and do really well. But for me, I had to do a lot more and put on a lot work, more work than just sitting in class and listening to my professors. Also, I felt like reading the information did not stick in my brain, so I wasn't able to retain the information. I had to do more. So whether this was visual or listening to a podcast, I had to do a lot more than just reading because I'm not a person who reads to understand the information. I have to see videos or see diagrams or see pictures for it for myself to retain it or even listen auditory. So this is why um, you want to make sure you learn what type of individual or learning individual you are. So for auditory, I really, really recommend podcasts. There is a physician assistant um, who makes podcasts. His name is Brian Wallace and his his podcast is a PA rotation exam review. It, uh, I'm sorry, the PA exam review. It is great. I will add the link below and he makes his podcasts in modules. So that's how I am taught in PA school. So we're taught in PA school in modules. So modules are basically what part of the system you're learning. So for example, it'll be cardiovascular, which is the heart. You'll learn the physiology, how the heart works, the pathophysiology, the diseases of the heart, the clinical medicine part, how to diagnose and treat these diseases, and the pharmacology, basically the different types of heart treatments, cardiovascular uh, medications, etc. So that's how his podcast is. It is in module. So he'll have, have cardiovascular, he'll have um, uh, dermatology, everything, and I really like it because he has it in modules and he, he has it titled depending on what he's talking about. And they tend to range about 10 to 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. And these are really good, especially if you have to commute really long distances. So my commute to my school was about 15 minutes without traffic, sometimes a little bit more with traffic. And I would listen to this on my way to school and on the way back. Also, on the days that I decided to go work out, um, go out for a run, or just be on the treadmill, or just work out in the gym, I will listen to these podcasts. And I really like it because he goes over stuff that you've already gone over in your, in your class. So they are very, very significant for your PA exams, for your, um, also for your PA licensing exams, your certification exams. So I really, really recommend. I will add the link below. It's uh, Brian Wallace. He's great. So for those of you who are auditory. Now for visual, 
One of my favorites, I have to say, is Osmosis. Osmosis is just amazing. Now, YouTube does have some free Osmosis videos, but I ended up paying the subscription for Osmosis. And they usually have discounts for PA students. I paid about, I think it was $200 for two years. And you have unlimited access to other videos. They have videos, they have great flashcards. I really recommend their flashcards. And they have also their flashcards and modules. So you can go to the diseases, and usually they have a lot of diseases that I didn't learn in PA school, so I would only watch the videos that were pertaining to the diseases that I learned or something that I was curious about. And then I would save these flashcards because after each video, it'll have a, it'll have the flashcards and then it'll have high yield notes. So high yield notes are also really good because it's basically information that's very high yield or very important that you'll see on your exams. So I also like their high yield notes and their videos are just amazing. I really recommend Osmosis not only for your didactic year but also for your clinical year because they also have really good videos for your clinical year for whatever rotation you're in. Whether you're an ob or ER or surgery, they have videos pertaining to each rotation. So Osmosis is fantastic. They explain the pathology, the pathophysiology of the disease, and then they'll go into the diagnostic tools and how to treat the patient. It's just amazing because you go through everything in one video so it's just amazing like i said they have free youtube videos so you can see their youtube videos see if you like it and they also have usually uh, a trial like a seven day trial and you can see if you like it if not then don't get it but it's amazing i really really recommend it i use it a lot especially during didactic year i think i would use it every day their flashcards for sure i use them every day i still use them for my clinical rotations also it's just amazing and i really recommend osmosis also, another one that I really recommend is if you're a visual person, Picmonic is also really good. I made videos for both Picmonic and Osmosis if you want further information and I'll add the links below. And they are fantastic. Pic Picmonic is great. It's Picmonic helped me a lot for pharmacology. Um, I, especially when it came down to learning the mode of action of the drug, the name of the drug, the side effects of the drug, I felt like reading the powerpoints or just reading it wasn't sticking I needed to see a picture and this is what Picmonic is it'll usually do pictures of the antibiotic for example like cephalosporins and those pictures would stay in my mind and when I was taking the exam I was able to learn the class because of their funny pictures that they had or their funny videos or their funny stories it's it's great if you're a visual person and they also have like a seven day free trial which I really recommend and they have free YouTube videos also but if you want unlimited of course then definitely go to picmonic.com I'll add the link below and I recommend it for didactic year really good especially for your pharmacology class now another thing that I recommend is also Armando Hasurigan Armando Hasurigan is free guys also another YouTuber he's uh, he is a doctor he also creates videos for those of you who are visual he'll explain the pathology the pathophysiology of the disease and he's great so that really helped me out for my pathology class um pathophysiology class so i will list the link below and the videos are free especially for those of you who are visual sometimes i would read for example the cardiovascular how the heart worked and i just i couldn't understand it and i would go and watch his videos and i'm like oh my gosh i re i understand it now so i really recommend him also uh, the link he's free Awesome. Another thing that I really recommend is also when you are during your didactic year, it's really important that you're testing yourself. And programs that or companies that have these questions that are mimic questions that are going to be similar to your exams in PA school are Smarty Pants. Smarty Pants is amazing. I made another video also that talks about my review of Smarty Pants if you want to know a little bit more information about it. But Smarty Pants is great. It has a lot of practice questions for you and it's really important to do practice questions. That way you see how the questions are going to be, especially once you start PA school because PA school exams are completely different in comparison to your undergraduate exams. So it's important to do these practice questions and it'll help you also see where your weaknesses are and what you need to focus on and what you need to study more on before you take your exam. So that's why practice questions are really important and that's why I really recommend Smarty Pants. On top of that, Smarty Pants has really good flashcards also. I actually like Smarty Pants flashcards better than Osmosis because Smarty Pants flashcards are geared towards your PA school exams versus uh, Osmosis flashcards are just 
in general, but Smarty Pants has these questions that are geared to what you are going to ask on your exams, most commonly asked questions on your exams. So they have also their flashcards and it's just amazing and I recommend Smarty Pants. I really recommend it. To practice questions, like I said, they also have audio, um, audio that you can see, audio that you can listen to regarding to lectures and they have the flashcards which are amazing. Um, depending on each module, they're great. I would do them every day and I did really well on my exams. Another thing that I recommend is Rush Review. Rush Review is also really good. Rush Review has a lot of practice questions, so it's only practice questions and they're also significant per, per whatever module you're going through. And Rush Review has just great explanations when it comes down to the answers and you keep saying these explanations over and over again that they stick in your mind. So whenever I was taking a the exam since I am a visual person I would just remember that diagram that Rush Review had on their explanation of the question and it helped me do really well on my exams plus usually they tend to pull their questions from previous exams that were released so their questions are usually like dead on similar to the ones that I see if not almost identical to the questions I see on my exams in my didactic year and my clinical year but yeah these are the things I really recommend for your didactic year they really help me out so just to recap osmosis for sure is a must i love osmosis also pygmonic pygmonic tends to be about 150 i think per year but i really work between these two osmosis for sure is fantastic pygmonic if you can afford it also i really recommend smarty pants smarty pants is a lot cheaper than rush review smarty pants is about 60 bucks i think a year versus rush review is about 200 um, but if you can from Rush to Smarty Pants, Smarty Pants is cheaper. I really recommend Smarty Pants. Rush review is also really good. Free is Armando Hasudigan. He's amazing. He has amazing YouTube videos that explain the pathology. You can just uh, YouTube his name or even Google his name. I'll add the link below though. And I also recommend for audio for those of you who like to work out, like to go out on a run or have long commutes i really recommend brian wallace said podcasts are amazing and they're free but yes these are the things that i used for my didactic year now when it came down to books like i said i usually just read the powerpoints that my professors used i never really read books because i just the information didn't stick with me when i read it i needed to see it in a different way so i would read my professor's powerpoints whatever i didn't understand i would go to osmosis or go to youtube to see Armando Hasudigan's videos and then after that I would practice with the um, Quizlets from Smarty Pants and also the flashcards from Osmosis and I would do this every day so I can test myself and Make sure that I have repetition and I'm remembering the information and then finally I would test myself with either watch review or Smarty Pants and did a lot of practice questions and this is how I studied so I would add all the links below. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys, but these are the must-haves definitely for your didactic year of PA school that really helped me out and I really recommend. Um, like I said, it's some, some of them tend to be expensive, especially Rush Review, but it's really good and I really recommend it. If you can, try to purchase Rush Review with a lot of people. Usually they'll offer discounts my program has 80 students and out of the 80 about 60 of us purchased them through a group discount and we got about a 25 percent discount so i was able to save money and i purchased it for two years so i really recommend it i think i'm going to use it also for my um license pa license certification exam because it's just amazing and it's fantastic i really recommend it smarty pants is good also um 60 bucks for what you're getting definitely worth it all right guys thanks for watching my videos as always if you guys have any comments any questions for me any feedback or anything make sure you comment below or if you can send me an email just send me an email and i'll get in contact with you as soon as i can all right guys thanks for watching my videos and i'll talk to you guys later bye